Oh. What the? Oh. Slept walked again. In the middle of a bloody rad storm, is this real life? Okay, well. I mean, this is not good, is it? Where are we? Yes, toy factory. Um. Okay. Well, do you know what? Can I? Can I go in? Yep. Churchill. Okay. Who's here? What's here? Hmm. All right. Well, so far. There's no uh, radiation in here, which is quite the bonus. I bet dish rag. What the hell is that? Ugh. Blood bug hatchling. Is that coming for me now? Oh my god. Where's Churchill? Where'd he go? Hmm. Well. Hmm. Could I, I suppose? In a word, yes, I could. Ugh. Brother, ugh. It's London, okay. Well, okay, bones. Yep, toy factory. That's what killed it. Bam. All right. Okay. A rad roach. Well, I could probably, probably wallop it with this item. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Oh but there it is, look. Come here, you wee beastie. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Good. Well might as well take a look around. As we're as we're here. Oh little teddy bears. It's kind of cute in a way. The size of that one. My god. Fuzzy. Okay. Well. Yeah. Tickets. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Okay, here's London again, I'm guessing. Um, blood bug probosis. Whatever that is. Teddy bears in the bin. Okay. Hmm. Aha! Take the frag grenade. Hmm. Well, I have to say, I have woken up in worse places. That's for damn sure. I've been to worse places while awake as well. Hmm. Can we? Oh. Wait, what? What's that noise? Huh. Never mind. A newsboy cap. I'd rather not. I don't think it would be preferable. Hmm. Oh. Big teddy bear. Oh, he looks kind of sad. It's a shame. So the Yes Toy Factory. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. There we are. Might as well not take the chance with it being so 
very, very uh, illuminated. Okay. Take it. Hmm. Terminal. Nothing we can do with it. Another terminal. Nothing. Nothing we can do with that. Desk. Huh. Tickets. Tickets. Eight ball plastic fork. I would rather not. Thank you. Anything else along here? A whole heap of nothing. Ha! Huh. How odd. Alright. So what's... Does this just go... Oh. Hello? Protein can. Why not? Pre-war rations? Okay. Teddy bear. Overdue book. Ashtray? No, I don't think so. Anything in there? No. Desktop picture frame? No, thank you. <gasps> Antifreeze bottle? Hmm. Squirrel on a stick. Expired sandwich. Potentially. Kids' lunchbox. Another kid's lunchbox. Tea kettle. Hmm. In here. A busted toilet. Lovely. And and nothing else. Hmm. Well. Literally just a toy factory. With precious little in it. Ah, what's up here, if anything? London. Okay. Oh, Londinius. Oh god, this is not good. This is this is very not good. Um can we Oh god, there's a lot of there's a lot of waste here. Okay, and there's a yep, yeah, alright. I'm just gonna yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna just gonna run away and, and, and hope for the best. Go away. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Um all right. I think I need to um I need to get out of here. Oh. Well, at least it's just normal rain now, Churchill. Good grief. Okay, let's go and speak to Gaunt first. Oh. The absolute devil's work. Awful, Churchill. Awful. This this sleepwalking is becoming a little bit of a nightmare, is it not? Good lord. Alright, so where is Gaunt? Ah, there it is. Game of pool, boys, while I'm Look out there doing all the work. Good grief. All right, Gaunt. Lockheed, Sinclair, Peter, Black. What? Lockheed, Sinclair, Peter, and fucking Black. Way further. You were a commando before. Uh, but was right I? now I need a butcher. Oh. You feel up to it. Um... Tell me more. Thomas Black orchestrated the Red Treaty. Mm -hmm. He's responsible for the death of my old man. And more besides. Oh. But he didn't do it alone. He's got himself plenty of muscle about, of course, but not so many brains. There are three lieutenants who helped mastermind the whole thing. Okay. John Lockheed, Enforcer Sinclair, and Peter the Fence. Oh. I want them all. Dead. More than dead. I want a fury on them. Okay. I want them turned into bloody sigils that spell out Black's doom. But I warn you, this is dirty work. Once you get started, there'll be a price on your head. 
Syndicate enforcers will start crawling the city for you. So don't you come back till the job's fully finished. Where, um, I mean, can't you do it? It's your revenge mission. Um, what about Black himself? Black is mine. Okay. You worry about this lot for now. All right. Um, uh, tell me how you want it done. Winston, Anthony, and Johnny each have a lead on getting access to your targets. Speak to them to get started. Oh. And listen, these are proper public executions. I want you wearing your vagabond finest for these. Understand? We're sending a message here. Cross the vagabonds and fury awaits. My mother wanted me to be a farmer, Ooh. but I get my hands dirty in other ways. Well, I mean, I'm trying to find, um, well, answers about myself, to be honest. So, um, I would, but, you know, have you got anything that I can purchase? What'll it be? Let's have a peek. Take a look. What about ammunition? You got anything in the way of ammunition? No. Then you can't help me. Enjoy. Goodbye. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's take a peep at the facts here. The Imperial War Museum. Yes, we need a gas mask, don't we? Um. Hmm. Well, let's. Uh, where is the Imperial Mo Imperial War Museum actually? Hmm. Quite a quite a. What? Oh, there's the Imperial War Museum. Hmm. Well, we could head back up to Sanctuary and tell Lazarus that. Yep, you can come back. And then head down to the Imperial War Museum. I think that might be the um, the state of play, down, Churchill. We need the numbers. All right, Yvette. No, 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 no bother. Okay, well, um, thanks all, and uh, I'll see you a little bit later on. Okay, well, oh, okay, barrels, lovely. Church, Churchill, come here. Come here now. Don't be faffing about with other people. Lazarus, hello, hello. Good news, my friend, good news. It's my saviour. How can I help you? Well, I spoke to Bishop, Bishop Whaler and he's willing to give you another chance. Really? Why? I don't know what to say. Thank you. It's okay. He's a good man, Bishop Whaler. I should tell him as much. If you're ever in sanctuary, be sure to stop by if you need supplies. More wholesome goods, mind you. And at a discount, of course. Sure. Well, hey. There you go. Alright, well... What's this? I don't think of any interest. So now we can... We can... Head to the Imperial War Museum, which I believe is this way, good lord. Maybe I should, um... Do some... Do some... Do some... Thing about my... Health. Ah. Uh, irradiated blood. Oh, god, no. Hmm. Ice cold Nuka Cola. Ground Radshrew eat that and the rad roach and then we'll have some rad away okay come on then churchill let's uh, rock and roll buckaroo get the lights on hello um oh dear is your friend dead or are you just lying down in the in the rain okay well all right churchill come on let's go we got places to be puppy dog where is he? Come on. What are you doing? Come on. Let's go. Oh, typical British weather. Wet. Cold. Oh dear. Um, 
Hole in the floor? Good grief. Okay, well, let's just, just be careful. I don't really fancy falling in to the depths below. Okay. Blackfriars Bridge. Um, there's not really much left of it, I don't think. Is there any... Anything we should be worried about here? Is there anything in this? Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Jesus. Just a whole lot of dead folks. And not much else by the looks of it. Well, never mind. Um. Okay. Churchill, come on. Let's rock and roll. Get out of here. Mind the mind the holes in the floor and the fence and everything else. Ah. Uh, okay. Up. Is the weather abating yet? Oh, the sky is quite quite pretty. Um. Okay. More holes. More holes and a Swiss cheese in this bridge. Good lord. Jolly terrific. Well, maybe. What? Oh, it's the waves. The waves lapping at the shore. Hmm. Oh, London Eye. Wow. Okay. Heard that. Churchill. Churchill? He'll catch up. All right. Hmm. I thought that was somebody sat there. It looked very bizarre. Well, hmm. This way. Bankside Ruffian Hideaway. Well, well. What the hell is that? Okay, okay. It's a turret. It's a turret. It's a bloody turret. Hmm. Well. Okay. All right. Ah, Jesus. Churchill. Uh, Churchill. Cool it. We're fine. It's all all right. Okay. Now I can hear footsteps. Somebody's... Are they down there? I think they're down there. All right. Come on, Churchill. Let's go. We need to get out of here. Because quite frankly... This is, seems like a bad spot. It's very, very dark. So, this way, I think. Oh, good lord. What a mess. Hmm. Well, hmm. At least the day is finally upon us. Good lord. Sun is rising. Marvellous. What's this? house or oh, what remains of it of a house ah uh, yeah okay never mind so is it round this way oh dear um let's have a little peep Are these guys going to be awful, or are they going to be nice? Well, all right. Um, hello? Hello?
Hello. Tommy conscript. You Hello. need anything? I am. Um, I do. To be honest, I need to go into the Imperial War Museum if I, I may. Wish I could meet the Queen. Captain Reed. Okay, hello. I'm here to serve. Oh well, all right. Um, can I can I come Stay through here? Stay safe, civilian. These are dark times. Can I go in the bit Churchill? What on earth are you doing, dog? Okay. Well, um, if you don't mind, I'll 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 mosey on through. Okay. Um Hello Hello You should consider enlisting. We need people like you. Well hmm I, I don't know about that. Ooh do you know Tempting, very tempting, but Maybe we should be careful, Churchill. Just we won't go quietly. You can count on that. Private Jai Davy. Anything you need? Yes, I need a bloody gas mask. Um. Oh, I'm allowed to take these though. I mean, I'll take them. Thank you. It's helpful. It's a tough world, you know. A very tough world. Um. All right. Can I? G okay. Why can't we? Can I go inside? Is that allowed? You'd have to be insane to take on the Tommies. Look at that, Private Tommy. Good day to you. Okay. Well, um, I expected a little bit more this of a. Is a okay. Military compound, civilian. State your business. Ah, okay. I need to borrow some equipment. Borrow equipment? <laughs> That's a new one. Well, let's hear it then. Okay, Colonel Major. I'm looking for a gas mask. I would like to requisition a gas mask, Colonel. That sounds a little... We have what you're looking for, but they're in high demand. And we don't just hand them out to civilians. Okay. The equipment stretched thin as it is, with the hooligans continually kicking us up the arse. Hmm... Well, <sighs> I had the pleasure of encountering some individuals at Guildhall who may have been a bit rowdy. They're unlikely to engage in any form of retribution. <laughs> if only that were true. The hooligans aren't united under a single banner. They're everywhere, like parasites. Kill one, and two more take their place. But that was you, eh? Mm -hmm. The John Doe that aided St. Paul's? That's the one. We heard all about that. Lieutenant Rambo sends us reports. Follow me. I'll take you to the General. Ooh. Rule Britannia. Britannia rule the waves. Britons never, never, never shall be slaves. Of course. Well. Quite the, um... Quite the place, gentlemen. Hello. Look at these tanks. Do you think that Churchill they could get these tanks running again? Maybe they still run. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I'm just um, adm admiring the place. Okay, pr protect runs. Um, ah, this is the colonel, is it? Wow, you got quite the operation here. To what do I owe this visit, Colonel Major? General, General Asquith. This is the individual who aided St. Paul's with the hooligans. Who? The woman from Lieutenant Rambo's report. Oh, I haven't read it yet. If you're here to enlist, you'll have to wait. Basic training programs are backed up for months. You know how it is. Poverty leads to an abundance of would-be soldiers. Well, they I came here looking for a gas mask. Yep. Then why are they walking into my office, Colonel, and not halfway out of the compound? I thought perhaps they could earn one, sir. You know? Mercenary work. I like your thinking, Colonel. You always win with a mercenary. 
Either they do the job, or there's no one left to pay. Very well. We have a gas mask with your name on it. Just as long as you... What do we need this so-and-so for, anyway? After the attack on Guildhall, the remnants of that group moved into the Bank of England. Others have joined them. Bank of England? There's a Pindar station in there. My great-grandfather grew up in it. That's very interesting, sir. All Is right. it? You have your orders. Deal with those hooligans in the Bank of England. <sighs> I mean... I don't think you'll spare a few Tommies, will you? I'll be on my way. Report back to Colonel Major once you're done. Dismissed. God save our gracious queen. Long live our noble queen. What? Okay. So, Intel turn. Can I use this? Hmm. Well, classified. Code name Hubbub. Head of the Redacted Service, Redacted Factions Intel indicates Redacted Neutral Zones. Surveillance underway. Operation Redacted. Covert Ops Team deployed to gather evidence on redacted activities. Mission compromised, redacted. Possible leak within the ranks. Investigate internal, redacted. Subject, redacted network. Suspect of operating a network of informants within the military. Investigating connections to redacted high-level mole suspected. Escalation protocol. Redacted actions deemed a threat to national security. Contingency plans activated. Prepare to redacted. Proceed with caution. Operation redacted. Redacted whereabouts unknown. Possible redacted forces implementing blackout procedures. All communications channels monitored. Redacted on site. Well, that didn't really tell us much. Can I? Okay. Um, well, this is quite, quite the... Quite the cosy little office, isn't it? My God. Very nice, I'm sure. <sighs> Guess there's... Um, oh, with a working toilet and shower? My goodness. Guess it goes to show that there is um, a bonus to being in power, I imagine. Um, all right, well... You've got a message here. Quarterly report, what's this? Dear General Asquith... I hope this letter finds you well. As per our standard operating procedure, I am submitting my quarterly report regarding the current status of our munitions operations. The inventory levels of our artillery shells and small arms ammunition remain within acceptable ranges. Our recent resupply operation was successful, with no incidents to report. The efficiency of our supply chain management could be better, but who's keeping track? Basically, it's all going fine. I often wonder if I should even bother writing these reports. It's obvious you never read past the first line. Perhaps I should just fill them with nonsensical gibberish. Maybe then I'd get a response. Oh, who am I kidding? This is going straight in the bin. I could literally call you a... C-word in this letter, but no one would ever read it. C-word. That's all for now. Yours sincerely, Captain Dodd. Captain Dodd! I like his style. Very, um... Very underhanded and a little bit sneaky with his um okay don't mess about with the terminals let's just take a little peep round here Ooh. do you suppose no one would know no one would ever know nine mil rounds Ooh. is this a cell oh requires a key hmm maybe we could find the key oh okay what's that Toy car. I'd rather not. Chill. What's the matter, puppy? We're inside. It's warm and dry. And there's things to to look at, namely, namely empty toilets by the looks of it. But but okay. Oh. Well, empty blood pack. I'd rather not. Okay. Well. What else is down here? Anything? The ladies? Hmm. 
Well. Hmm. Quite a decent setup they've got, though. My God, look at this. Got tea. Little. Little fire there. Typewriter. Burnt fashion magazine. Hmm. Another br broken. T What's this? General Anderson's grand scheme. Hmm. Sorry. Good thinking, per se. And if we're caught, you can start clucking and oinking. Ugh. They'll think you're the livestock whisperer. All right. What's this one? These are very loud. Listen up, comrades. We're at Summit Hill. Ready to fend off any attackers. Okay. Just like that occasion when we repelled the local theatre group. Mistaking them for enemy spies. Hey, Den. Fancy a wager? How long before General Anderson commandeers our abandoned tank as his new hmm. mobile headquarters? Okay, I can cook. I'm giving it 15 minutes. And I'll bet you three ration stamps. Hmm. Well, I mean... Okay, noodle cup. Noodle cup? Spaghetti? Ooh! Do you know what? That sounds nice. Oh, you don't mind me just using your, uh, your stove here? I'm just, um, you know... Just doing what I... doing what I do. Okay. Well, wheat abrex. Okay. Um, you got any more of these tapes or anything? Any more info? Wow. On the cooking station. High bowler tickets. Lots of tickets. I could. Oh my goodness. Tempting. Very tempting. But we have to be. We have to be careful. The enigmatic radio transmission. Hmm. What's this? Does he start them all with this? There's a mysterious radio signal playing a tune about nuka blasts and wasteland dreams. What's a nuka blast anyway? Oh, Dan, my dear chap. A nuka blast no, is no, one no. of those American drinks. It's also akin to Anderson's schemes. You'd prefer to keep your distance when one goes off. What? I story? face a horde of nuka blasts before enduring no. another of Smith's monologues about the futility of existence. Ah! Oh my god, they're everywhere. The final I stand at St. Michael's queen. Cathedral. You'll have a job. There we go. Good god, that, that intro music is very annoying. Listen um, up, comrades. This is our last stand at St. Michael's Cathedral. What's this? Just like that time we defended the pub's last cake during a raucous drinking contest. Okay. Um, We're all doomed, I tell ya! Just like that day we ran out of tea during rationing! Hold your mouth, soldiers. And remember, if all else fails, just shove the stiff upper lip and charge. Whitaker, you don't look like a soldier. Well, well, well. If it ain't the wayfarer, your rep precedes you. Oh. Word travels swiftly, you know. I ain't for idle chatter. I'm here for work. And word is, you're the one to ask. So, want me? Um. Bow with a bit forward. And? So? 
I have a dog. Well, where are you from? I'm from Kanto. I left when things got spicy. You should visit it one day. You'll hate it. Oh, great. Um, well, what can you do? I'm a top tier vendor. I do it like I says on the tin. Well, I mean, I just want to trade. Sure thing. Well, let's see what you've got. What? Do you know what? Keep your goods. Keep your goods. I don't care enough to get involved. What is this about? Why are all these mannequins female? And why are they inside this barbed wire cage? Is this a... Oh, we can read this. Okay. What's this then? The Holocaust, also known as the Shoah, was the genocide of European Jews during World War, War, World War II between 1941 and 1945. Nazi Germany and its collaborators systematically murdered some six million Jews across German-occupied Europe and around two-thirds of Europe's Jewish population. Yes. Hmm. The Hitler Jugend. The Hitler Jugend or in English, the Hitler Youth, was the youth organisation of the Nazi party in Germany. It comprised different sections for boys and girls. The boys' branch was simply called the Hitler Youth, and its origins date back to 1922. It's officially received the name Hitler Jugend. In July 1926, the girls' branch was known as the League of German Girls. Oh, okay. In 2053, terrorists would obtain a nuclear weapon and manage to detonate it in the Israeli city of Tel Aviv. As a direct result of the destruction of Tel Aviv, a limited nuclear exchange would occur in the Middle East one month later. The Wild West was a brief yet impactful chapter in American history, marked by resilience and valour. Spanning the late 19th century, this era showcased daring outlaws, revered lawmen, and the swift expansion of the Western frontier. The Wild West was a period that, while relatively short-lived, profoundly shaped the cultural fabric of the American nation. It's a history lesson, I suppose, Churchill. Um, you know? What a funny old place. The Flak Panzer... For Kugelblitz was a German self-propelled anti-aircraft gun developed during World War II. By the end of the war, only a pilot production of the five units had been completed. Unlike earlier self-propelled anti-aircraft guns, it had a fully enclosed rotating turret. Okay. I mean, it's educational. Churchill, what are you doing? Is that a plaque? By the turn of the century, rather than pulling carts by horse, vehicles were the ones pulling horses. In the UK, a horse box is the generic term for a vehicle which is used to take horses from one place to another. It can be either a horse truck, motorised, or a horse trailer, towed. Of course, yeah. Um, a wagon or wagon is a heavy wheeled vehicle pulled by draft animals or on occasion by humans, used for transporting goods, commodities, agricultural materials, supplies and sometimes people. Whilst traditional, these were used by animals such as horses, mules or oxen and acted as pulled wagons. In today's world, they are more commonly used by vehicles. This is an education, Churchill. We're having an education here. And we're helping ourselves to certain things. Burnt textbook. Well. Hmm. Are you alright, Church? Oh, good lord. Is there anything back here? No. Well. Hmm. Like I say, educational. I appreciate some education. But, um. Really, this is what I want. The armory. Can I purchase what things? What can I help you find? Uh, let's see what you've got. Take a look. Oh, gods. Hmm. I could do with some more 280 rounds and 303 rounds, I think. Hmm. Maybe 50.
Hmm. What about nine mil? I do have a decent amount of nine mil. Hmm. Well, will you purchase anything from me? Hmm. All right. Perfect. Well, um, thank you very much. We're a little close here. Excuse Until me. Until next time. God okay. Save our gracious queen. Private stack. Long live our noble queen. I, well, hate to break it to you, sir, but, ooh. Ranger Ridiculous. Oh. You've collected an issue of Ranger Ridiculous. Ballistic weapons permanently do plus 5% critical damage. Well, marvellous. Hmm. The I will not ask any questions. Come on, Churchill. We won't go quietly. You can count on that. Well, what Call do you do? Nux. What can I do for you? Um. Oh. Walk well, I, I don't want any more work at the moment, but possibly in the future, possibly. Mess hall. Huh. All right, well, um, it's been educational and interesting. Rural Britannia, Britannia, all the waves. Britons never, never, never shall be slaves. Ah. Slightly out of tune, my dear, but never mind. I just spotted this. Home guard spirit. Okay. Captain Nobby here, chronicling the commencement of the European Civil War uproar. It seems our friends across the channel have decided to engage in a bit of a ruckus. Reminds me of the time when the field marshal tried to hold a formal dinner in the middle of a resource war bombing raid. Keep your heads up, lads. Sergeant Ginger, reporting for duty. Just like that day we mistook a herd of cows for the enemy advance. Captain, what if the opposition is equipped with the same tech as those Americans? Power armor, I mean. They'd be like walking fortresses, wouldn't they? <sighs> then, my lad, we'll cross that irradiated bridge when we stumble upon it. Ooh. Can I get on this terminal? High Command Terminal. Hmm. All right. Tommy High Command Terminal. Status report on General Asquith. General Asquith remains in good health and high spirits, doing his best to try to oversee operations. As always, his bluster and pomp is met with his customary inefficiency and misguided termination. Oddly enough, though, his leadership continues to inspire confidence among the troops, and morale remains high despite the challenges we face in London. The General's lack of strategic acumen has been instrumental in the miscoordination of our efforts to maintain order and security in the city. His emphasis on community engagement and collaboration with local authorities, rather than just dealing with them properly and directly with force, has failed to strengthen our position and has yet to yield the support from the civilian population as we had hoped. In recent meetings, General Asquith has stressed the importance of vigilance in the face of potential threats, urging all units to remain alert and responsive to any signs of unrest or instability. This reactive approach to defence planning and resource allocation ensures that we are ill-prepared for any eventuality. This needs to be sorted out ASAP. Overall, General Asquith's leadership continues to be a baffling situation. Whilst his presence acts as a stabilising force in these uncertain times, his unwavering ability to mess things up means our commitment to the defence of London is always lacking. So he's not a popular leader. Okay, um, operational update, London security measures. Hmm. Security operations in London are proceeding according to plan, thanks to the guidance and direction of everyone in high command, apart from General Asquith. Patrols have been increased in key areas and checkpoints have been established to monitor movement in and out of the city. 
General Asquith has emphasised the importance of maintaining a visible presence to deter criminal activity and reassure the public. However, it is the underlings which have given the orders to our troops so that they are conducting regular sweeps of known trouble spots, as such intelligence gathering efforts have been intensified to stay ahead of potential threats. In addition to a traditional security measures, Colonel Major has authorised the development of Atkins robots for surveillance, providing monitoring of critical infrastructure and vulnerable areas. This technological enhancement enhances our situational awareness and allows for rapid response to emerging threats. The cooperation between the military and civilian authorities under General Asquith's leadership has been less than exemplary. It has done almost everything but facilitating effective communication and coordination in our efforts to safeguard London and its inhabitants. This needs to be rectified. Hmm, well, documenting incompetence at the top. Entry 1. 1st of October 2237. Supply chain failure. Another shipment of ammunition lost in transit. High Command blames radar malfunction. Reality, someone forgot to update the delivery coordinates. Oh. Uh, 5th of October 2237. Tactical misstep. Ordering retreat. Ordered retreat at the Battle of the Tower Bridge. Resulted in unnecessary casualties. High Command cites strategic reassessment. Translation, they got scared and ran. Entry 3, equipment shortage, 10th of October 2237. Soldiers sent into combat with faulty rifles. High command claims budget constraints. Reality, someone pocketed the funds meant for weapon repairs. Failed intelligence operation, 15th of October 2237. Mission to gather intel on enemy movements botched. High command blames communication breakdown. Truth, they forgot to charge the radios. Entry 5. Friendly fire incident, 20th of October, 2237. Bombardment strike on friendly forces due to mistaken coordinates. High command's excuse, fog of war, reality. Someone can't read a map. End of entries. Oh dear. Hmm. Something is definitely amiss here. Preserving history, powering London's defence. Entry 1. World War II era weapons cache, 3rd of October 2237. Unearthed in the basement archives includes rifles, grenades, and even a few functional flamethrowers. High command shocked at the discovery, finally something useful. Entry 2. Training programs, 5th of October 2237. Military personnel undergoing historical weapons training, learning from the past to improve combat effectiveness. High command begrudgingly admits it's a good idea. Entry 3. Strategic Sessions, 11th of October 2237. High Command studying World War I tactics and applying them to current battles. Surprisingly effective. Maybe they should have paid attention in history class. Entry 4. Public Exhibition, 18th of October 2237. Display of wartime artefacts draws crowds from within the ranks, boosts morale and reminds citizens of London's resilience. High Command takes credit for the idea, conveniently forgetting their previous incompetence. Entry 5. Weapons repurposing, 23rd of October 2237. Engineers modifying the World War II era weapons for modern warfare, making the most of limited resources. High Command reluctantly approves, still grumbling about their own failings. End of entries. So, they don't have the best leadership by the looks of it. He isn't massively competent, but... Mind the gap and all that. Yes, are you putting these entries in, Colonel George? Hmm. Should be careful, you know. You could have your court-martialed for insubordination or something like that. I don't know. Military terms. Come on then, Churchill, let's go and find this bloody group of whatever and kill them off. What a nice day. You know, Churchill, one thing that doesn't make sense about this whole affair. They have soldiers... Here, they got robots, they've got rifles and all sorts of goodness. And yet they require me and you. Civilians, technically. Well, a civilian and their dog. To go and kill a bunch of... A bunch of... Bad guys, which... You'd have to be insane to take on the zombies. Well, you say that. You say that. And yet you can't go and solve this problem. Begs the question, doesn't it? Are you really as good as you say you are? 
potentially not, gentlemen. The fact that you have to rely upon me, just a young lady who's had a bad start, and her puppy dog, Churchill, to fix your problems is ridiculous. <sighs> All right. What? And do you know what the worst part of it is, Churchill? We showed up. We've agreed to do this task. And they won't even make us a cup of tea. 